What is going on guys? Grave here today. I talk about Hogwarts Legacy and how a lot of people have been in the discussion in the community of how they would like to have an MMO style game in this setting. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now, when it comes to MMOs, there's a lot of great MMOs out there that have been out for a really long time, but there's also a lot of MMOs that have come and gone over the years that only last a couple years after release. And if we look at Hogwarts Legacy in general, it, as of it being more of a RPG single player style game, you're looking at a, a game that has sold over 15 million copies. And this was of kind of as of uh, fall of 2023 and it generated over a billion dollars in revenue. And of course, that game is now out on Nintendo Switch as well. And that's going to continue to grow uh, those sales numbers. So looking at kind of what Avalanche would see with this is it is a very popular game in the single, uh, the kind of the single player realm. And there's always already been, you know, talks of a Hogwarts Legacy 2 in the works. So it looks like we're going to be definitely getting that in the future. And that's something they're going to continue to do if the game continues to post these types of sale numbers. Now, I do think having a Hogwarts Legacy style MMO game in the setting that we have right now would been would have been an absolutely phenomenal experience. I'm a fan of MMOs, so I think personally for me that's something what I would I, that I would definitely like to see in the future. And we probably will get some style of game like this in the future that is you know an MMO. There are some out there right now that are mainly on like you know iOS, you know Android, that kind of thing. Not something that you can play on console or PC. But there are definitely a lot of cons out there. There's a lot of people saying that they are glad this game is single player and not multiplayer. And if you look at the popularity of something like Skyrim, Hogwarts Legacy could get to that point down the road, whether it be this game or the next one or, you know, so on. Where it's something that's played by tons of people, you know, modded in the PC community. Something that, that is done uh, or played, you know, a whole lot something that is going to be uh, a game that people play for years and years down the road but my only issue with it being single players i felt like you know to a point when you play single player rpg style games yes there's a lot to do but eventually you kind of run out of things to do and that's where for me personally the whole mmo idea would be great but at the same time i do see the downsides First of all, you would have a paywall for items. There will be some really neat items in game. Of course, we all know how MMOs work. There will be a paywall there for those items. Uh, to kind of look at ESO, which is a game that I've played for a really long time, the Elder Scrolls Online has lots of unique, cool items in the store, but you're going to be paying real money for those items, and not a lot of really neat items are available just from playing the game. Also, another thing you can look at, is uh, graphics the game uh, right now of course Hogwarts Legacy looks amazing no matter what platform you play it on it has really good graphics um, on new gen consoles it was amazing on PC it was amazing there's even been people talking about even though that has been downgraded on switch it still looks really good if you have an MMO style game with tons of players in that you know particular zone area the graphics are not going to be near uh, nearly as good as they are of course in a single player RPG style game um, of course, you have that live service idea. That's what all MMOs are. So usually the content is kind of that drip feed content. And a lot of people do not like the idea of, you know, only having something to do in game every little bit. There's not a lot of new things added. Uh, it takes development teams a long time to get new content out. And you look at things once again, like the Elder Scrolls Online, World of Warcraft. They have big updates every year, but everything else feels like a lot of drip feed content. There's not a lot of things being added to the game year long uh, for the year long period. So a lot of people just kind of come and go to the game as the content is released. And so once that new content, you know, is a couple months old, people leave the game. They'll come back to the next year. Also, a lot of people do not want to have to play every game with other players. You know, they don't want to have to, you know, find people to play with, find friends to play with, have to be social in every uh, game that they play. A lot of people still, surprisingly, like single-player games, and that is a good thing in my opinion. Uh, single-player games are great, and I think there's a lot of good single-player games out there, and Hogwarts Legacy was definitely one of them. And we don't really have 
the great single player games in my opinion like we used to it used to seem like every single player game that came out was worth playing nowadays it's not the case so it's really a, a breath of fresh air to have a great single player game to play and i think that's one thing if you turn this game into an mmo it's going to be turning into turning into one of those things where you feel like you're forced to be you know social with other players and a lot of people may not want to do that and i think that is one big reason that a lot of people in the community have been discussing that they're glad that this game was not an MMO. I was really surprised when I saw all the discussions going on in different forums about, you know, how people wanted this game to be an MMO, but a lot of the response was, we're glad that it's not. A lot of people in the community in general talk about how much they enjoyed the game for what it is, a single player RPG. And like I said, we're definitely going to get another game in the coming years, I'm sure, like I said, there's already talks of the second game being worked on. But I do think in the future we will have some type of MMO game. Will it be as popular as the single player games? Probably not, unless it's something that is just amazing. Because a lot of, uh, a lot of the MMO style games nowadays feel not really unique. They're kind of generic. Everything that most MMO games do nowadays, someone else has already done and probably has done it better. And that would be the issue that I see. It comes out in MMO form and it'll only last a couple years. It's hard to get a MMO style game to last as long as the Elder Scrolls Online, which is coming up on its 10 year anniversary. Something like World of Warcraft, which is coming up on its 20 year anniversary. Most MMOs only last a couple years and then there's a different one out. And Avalanche may be considering what would be the best thing for us? Would it be a better idea to keep this game out on the single player level where we know it's going to sell well, we can really put some time and effort into making a great single player game that's a big open world that has tons of things to do? Or do we want to go in an MMO direction where we may struggle at times? Or it could fail altogether. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you like the way that Hogwarts Legacy was made? Do you want to continue, uh, continue to see those single player RPG games going forward or you'd like to see something eventually turn into an MMO style game based on what we have seen so far like I said I think it would be great I think I would really enjoy it personally but at the same time I know there's a lot of players out there that would not and overall it doesn't really matter I mean if we get another single player game we're all going to enjoy that if we get an MMO game we may not all enjoy that. It may be a thing that kind of splits the community up. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.